These are dangerous times. The United States, with last year's election and the normalization of a president supported by Nazis and white supremacists, could well be on a steep slope toward fascism. So it behooves us to look behind to the past to examine what we can learn from earlier mistakes and even what we might look for in the future. Watch on the Rhine by Lillian Hellman, now under production at Berkeley Rep through January 14th, takes place in the period just before World War II, when Americans didn't quite know or realize what was going on in Europe or of the dangers and horrors of fascism. It is a warning shot in the guise of a thriller. Lisa Peterson, Associate Director at Berkeley Rep and Director of this production. Lillian Hellman had visited Russia and she had also done some traveling in Spain during the Spanish Civil War. So she was particularly attuned to the politics in Europe and she had friends who were involved in the anti-fascist movement early on. Watch on the Rhine is an old-fashioned play with an old-fashioned set, and there are three acts with a short intermission between the second and third. It's set outside of Washington, D.C., this woman who's rich, progressive, widow of a very important lawyer. He might have even been a Supreme Court judge. She is expecting home her daughter, who has been in Germany for 20 years. She's married a German man, and she's had three kids, and they have not been back. And there are also these mystery guests who happen to be staying in the house at the same time. And they are a count and a countess. A young American woman has married a Romanian count. The cast is uniformly excellent, in particular Caitlin O'Connell as Fanny, the matriarch of the clan, Sarah Agnew as her daughter, Elijah Alexander as her husband Kurt, and Jonathan Walker as the Romanian count a role requiring a tightrope walk between desperation and villainy. Mention must also be made of the spectacular scenic design by Neil Patel. It's an ensemble play, really, more than it is a star vehicle. It's about the entire company, including, by the way, two young people. So there are all these generations. They're all very smart people, and they are, you know, put in this interesting situation. While the introductions at the start go on too long and the final moments are filled with one too many noble speeches, Watch on the Rhine is at heart both a political warning and an engrossing story. It also was a reminder of the horrors and dangers of war and how ordinary people are forced to take extraordinary actions in the name of humanity. I think people are really in the mood right now for smart, funny, political stories. And this is a very historical political story, but it's also full of witty conversation and complicated family dynamics. Watch on the Rhine by Lillian Hellman, directed by Lisa Peterson, plays at Berkeley Rep's Rhoda Theater through January 14th. For more information, you can go to berkeleyrep.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.